What's up, your Carlos Cisnete, to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making something super delicious. If you like grape leaves, and also known as dolmadakia in Greek, then you're going to love this recipe because it's a lazy version of that, has all of the flavors, except if you don't have time to wrap them up into those delicate little parcels, then you can make this rice pilaf, which is going to be a grape leaf rice pilaf, basically. Um, this is something that I just came up with because I did a little survey on Facebook and Instagram recently asking you guys what recipes you want to learn and many of you said that you wanted quick versions of the Greek classics so I thought why not begin with this one this is super delicious and um, everybody loves dolmadakia grape leaves basically except not everyone has the time to make them so if you don't have the time to make them and you love all the flavors, you're going to love this dish because it comes together in like 40 minutes and it is so delicious. It starts off with an onion that's finely chopped. Then I put it in a pan over here with about a third of a cup of olive oil over medium heat. I also sprinkled some salt on the onions. I always flavor each layer while I'm cooking. So it's going to cook for about eight minutes or until the onions are nice and soft and golden. In the meantime, we're going to pre prepare all of the rest of the ingredients. So I have the juice of two lemons ready to go. And over here, I have a cup of basmati rice, but you can use whatever rice you like. I basically rinse it a few times under cold water, and then I soak it in cold water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Basically the same amount of time that it takes for the onions to cook. This is gonna sit here and soak. Then we're gonna drain the water out before we add it. Over here, I have grape leaves. These are from the jar and they're, they're stored in brine and they're already blanched and so they're ready to use. Uh, I usually cut off the stems, but this uh, jar over here seems like they've cut off the thick part of the stem, so there's nothing left to do. All I did was I rinsed them under cold water to get a little bit of that brine off of them and I just set them in the strainer over here. So I'm gonna prepare the herbs, that's really all that's left. I have some fresh parsley here. I'm not going to need all of it. I'm just going to cut off the leaves from the top and I'm going to finely chop it. You don't have to worry about the thinner stems being in here. They're going to get finely chopped. I'm going to set that aside and then I have some fresh mint over here. I'm just going to remove the leaves and I'm going to finely chop those. You need about two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh mint. And these herbs have already been washed. I basically soak them in some cold water so that way all of the dirt um, sinks down to the bottom and then I lift them out of the water and put them in a little strainer so most of the water can dry off. That looks like more than two tablespoons, but I love the taste of fresh mint, so I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna add as much as I want in there. Then we're gonna need about a cup of uh, roughly chopped grape leaves. Okay, so now I'm just gonna slice up these grape leaves just like this. I like to roll them up and then just go ahead and slice them. You just basically want them roughly chopped. Okay, so the onions are ready. Literally takes about eight minutes for that to happen. At this point, I'm gonna go in and add the grape leaves. And I'm not adding any salt because these are packed in a brine, which is already salty enough. I'm just gonna to toss them in the onions and in the oil for about 30 seconds. They smell so good. Now I drained the water out of the rice. I'm gonna add the rice in here. To the rice, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of dried dill. Next, I'm going to add a cup of water. 
and about a quarter cup of lemon juice. So I'm going to bring the mixture up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. I'm going to cover it and let the rice cook for about 15 minutes or until it's nice and tender and fully cooked. Then I'm going to take it off of the heat and I'm going to add the parsley and the mint, give it all a mix, and then it'll be ready to be served. Once those herbs hit that hot pilaf, it smells amazing. It just smells like dolma that you have been cooking for the longest time, except this dish is done in under 30 minutes. You really can't beat that. The best way to serve this is with some lemon wedges and some creamy tzatziki sauce, but if you want to keep it vegan, leave the tzatziki out. It is time for the taste test, which is the best part of doing these videos. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's good, right? Mmm, delicious. Delio, which means perfect. So now, if you like dolma this, you are definitely gonna like this. They're, the grape leaves are nice and tender and briny. It's lemony and vibrant and so flavorful and delicious. You guys are gonna love this. Make a big batch if you wanna serve a crowd. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below to print this recipe out with all the ingredients and the measurements, you can head on over to DemetriusDishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.